Hello everyone. In this video, I teach you how to get the Titanic data set for your assignment number five. Uh, as I said, the source is Kaggle.com. You can just select this part of the, uh, the text data set from Titanic data set from Kaggle.com. Copy. Then you can go to Google.com. Paste here and search for it. It should be your, one of the first links, Titanic Machine Learning from Disaster Kaggle. Click on it. Then if you go to Data tab, and then go down, you see there, there's a section Download All. If you click on it, it asks you to register the sign in, since I already uh, registered to, with my Google account. I can easily click on Sign In. You might register with Yahoo. Facebook or your Clark email. Let me just click in sign in Google. Okay. Again, uh, we should get back to that page. What can you do? Again, go here, select this part of text, copy, go to google.com again. Then paste here and search for it. Again, go to the first link or one of the first links. Get to data tab, go down, click on download all. As you see, a zip file downloaded on my PC. I go to the location. So now I need to extract the titanic.zip. You can use any software, WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip. Let me just extract it here. Now, as you see, I have a Titanic folder. If you click on it, now you see a, a titanic.csv and, uh, sorry, train.csv and test.csv. These are the files that uh, you need to use for uh, training your model. Let me go to the assignment again. So you import the data here um, as see here, see here, I merged, already merged to Excel, then import. Then I randomly uh, divided in 70 and 30% and I did train and evaluation. For your assignment, you don't need to partition here. Uh, for your train set, uh, you you can uh, just directly uh, get it from Excel. And for validation, you, maybe you can add another uh, Excel file read module here and do validation here. Or I don't care that much. I just want to see you build up a good workflow. Or maybe even you import the train set here. You divide in train and validation. After you validate your model, you can uh, bring the test set and see um, um, what would be the prediction accuracy on your test set. So there's a lot of flexibility here. That's for it. So again, you have a flexibility in terms of what would be your train and test set. It could be either a part of your train set could consider as a, for the validation or you can use the test set. I'm going to upload this video on Moodle and also uh, GroupMe, so it, it will be accessible from there. Thank you very much.